So <clears throat> when we're taking a data measurement, typically we have some transducer which converts some physical signal into some current, some some uh, voltage or some current current signal. That voltage or current signal we need to convert it into its digital form, and that is the job of our data acquisition system. Okay, so that's a data acquisition board. Um, all right, and that data acquisition board then takes that data and transfers it to a computer, typically uh, where it is stored, right, and processed. All right. So what a data acquisition system typically looks like is we have our transducer, and that transducer goes into some signal conditioning uh, system. So typically, this is typically we have um, uh, filters. Um, such as like low pass, high pass filters, and we typically have uh, uh, amplifiers. Right. So um, after the signal has been conditioned, um, it goes into a multiplexer, and then that multiplexer basically directs the different channels into an uh, analog to digital converter, and that analog to digital converter goes to our uh, device. Right. And typically, the device will also have some type of control that might affect. Um, the feedback and affect the signal going on forward. Um, typically, that also communicates with your computer. So your computer has typically has a display, stores the data um, somewhere, um, and then uh, then sometimes the computer or the code that you're running can then also change the process or the feedback. Right. Um, so, <coughs> right. Um, so we'll be using these throughout the class. We already use them quite a bit. Um, but this is basically the structure of how these systems work.